Welcome to Market Matters. I'm Nadia Hassan together with Charlotte Chong. Definitely a little prettier than uh, Suthi Azman, who I usually ha hang around with, but not, nonetheless enlightened. So today it was a big day. KACI was actually up 0.17% to 1,688.54. But the thing is, it actually wasn't even you mm -hmm. know, that high. At one point, it was in spitting distance of 1,700. But I think people just got excited and, you know, just left a sticky mess at the end. So volume was actually at about 2.18 billion shares, value at about 2.17 billion shares. Now, what happened during the day was because uh, Kelsey was up because the utility giant Tanaka National Bohat came up with news today saying that they have already submitted the lowest bid to 1MDB worth about 8 billion ringgit. Yeah, so that actually pushed them up because I suppose the biggest fear was that in a fire sale, as what Edra's doing, you actually want them at the best rate. You think you'd get them cheap, but people were wondering whether you were paying too high a premium. But mm -hmm. I'm going to stop there for a minute just to say that your hair looks terrible, extremely great. And yours as well, oh, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, besides that, TNB, I think, is electrifying at it. So it closed 4.43% higher at 13 ringgit and 20 cent. Here's the problem. I think the gearing is still going to be an issue, never mind that they still have some loans in mm -hmm. USD. Yeah. So when you want to take on another purchase, are you basically just taking on more than you can chew? No, what M Research say today is they're actually quite optimistic with what happened um, when DMB actually submitted the lowest bid. Because they actually paved way for these two companies coming into Malaysia, China General Nuclear Power Corporation Limited and Qatar's Nebras Power, which have already submitted joint bid worth Less than 10 billion, but more than 8 billion. We'll have to see how that actually pans out. Well, of course, looking regional wise, Janet Yellen, my personal hero, actually came out and said, Well, look at December. We think that is there the rate hike might be in the offing. As such, everybody was feeling a bit red. Nikkei 225 only up 1% after that massive Japan post IPO yesterday. Shanghai Composite up about 1.83%. Jaka and SCT about 0.67%. But let's move on to hot stocks and what moved our world today. Mm -hmm. um, it's a company that. Uh, we, we do see in the headlines, it was the top, uh, well, not top gainer, it was the most active today. Mm -hmm. Sanichi Technology Baha'i up 11.76% to 9.5 cent or 10 cent if you, you, if went you up want to round it up. 10 cent, yeah, each other high 10 cent today. Now, this company actually was and still am an uh, advanced plastic injection mold manufacturer, but last year they ventured into property segment. Yeah, at least it wasn't oil and gas, right? I mean, put it this way, when people want to diversify, they either choose property or they will choose uh, oil and gas. So uh, the reason we actually had this piece of news on the edge marks today about how mm -hmm. MD Datuk Sri Jackie Pang actually said that, uh, you know, they, the, they're unperturbed by this current property slowdown and uh, upbeat on its maiden launch in uh, Malacca. So here's my question, right? Given how optimistic you are, given that the big boys, mm -hmm. Sam Darby, SP City, Eco World, uh, tempering that optimism, that means your cojones must be made of brass. I mean, ridiculously bold. Now, this uh, actually Andy Pang, this, he said that it aims to reap profit of about 13 million from this project in Malacca for the next three years. Now, can, if you look at it, for in these three years, profit margin was at, it will be at about 40 million ringgit. And in the soft launch for the project, the, the group actually has garnered about 20% bookings. And they've actually foresee another 50% after they launch the project. Cajone is a brass, I'll say it again. So the fact is, right, will people want to buy them? Because can you afford a house the way you are now? No. Exactly, we can't afford a house. And they actually want to move on to these big guys who come in. And that raises a lot of moral questions. Okay, okay, it, I will not say that you can't make money. Of course, everybody can make money, but mm -hmm. I think it brings that question, you don't want ghost towns, you want people to actually buy and actually stay. But self occupy. Exactly, just to bring it home, Sanichi actually uh, top most active today, mm -hmm. actually up by about 11%. Company used to do plastic molds, now going into property. MD, Jackie Pung, very, very unperturbed about the slowdown. Like I said, really, really great gumption. Let's mm -hmm. see whether or not that actually pans out. But moving on to our stock with momentum. Okay, when we came to choosing this, Charlotte and I, so we looked so through the whole many. list because if you want the full list, you can actually go to um, the edge markets and look at it. Mm -hmm. But ECS, ICT, Negative momentum up seven percent today to about one ringgit and sixty-four. So what do these guys do? Shall so I think okay, uh, they are the largest ICT products manuf manufacturer in Malaysia. I think what the Edge Research says, um, share price have really up thirty point four percent from one point two five in August this year. So which means the the share price actually. Are, go, are coming down now. Yeah, exactly. So I think it actually went down and it, it went up. So when they talk about negative momentum, I think they see foresee kind of no new catalyst mm -hmm. and why is the share price still doing this random bucking trend. But in case you don't know what these guys do, as she said, in a rough thing, they actually sell 
uh, stuff like Lenovo, tablet, mm -hmm. computer, basically. I think Laoyat, right? They, 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 yes, their they main do. base of operations is Laoyat? They have a few, not just Laoyat. Now, just now I mentioned about 30.4% run up of share. That was because they recently announced to distribute a dividend of 3 cents per share to be paid in November. Yeah, so that's a big thing. And this company, solid-wise, fundamental-wise, I can't argue. No, no borrowings, mm -hmm. about 120 million worth of cash. But if you looked at their earnings, right, here's the thing that sort of bugs me a little bit. The fact is, revenue is up 18.6%, but your net profit is down 34.2%. That speaks to me, margins are going down. Obviously, enough, the they, margins. Do they do mention in their notes mm -hmm. that USD is hurting them. And also with the you know weakening of ringgit and also post GST, people will cut back their purchase on all these kind of gadgets. Yeah. So the thing is, I'm an Apple user. You're a Samsung user, aren't you? Yes. So when you have so many products, here's my question: You, if you're selling one product, you can know the price of it. You can control the the inventory of it. These guys do what? Lenovo. Uh, the only good thing was they did me me mm -hmm. pad for for Xiaomi. Xiaomi. So all of this, right, you have to think about uh, juggling so many balls in the air. Obviously, you have to make sure everything's mm -hmm. actually balanced. They are the only, they are the sole distributor for Xiaomi in Malaysia. But they have to worry about other costs as well, don't they? Correct. But the thing is, right, they are actually building more warehouses in Malaysia, Johor Bahru, Kuantan, Kuching and Kota Kinabalu. Oh, let's see how they actually go there. The, I think they're second tier countries are what they're looking at. But just to sort of wrap it all up, ECS actually pegged with negative momentum by the re uh, Edge Research, up about 30% ever since August. Company does ICT. Uh, very, very good margin. Well, not good margins, very, very good cash pile, but margins still continue to suffer.